what should VB plus, uh, what should the V, if I graph VC plus VR, they should add up to what? Uh, this plus this is equal to what? That, right? This plus uh, this is, should equal that. This plus this should equal the whole thing. So at any moment of time, the voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the capacitor equals what? VB because they're in series. The voltage of the resistor is de uh, decreasing. The voltage of the capacitor is increasing. They add up to the whatever the voltage of the uh, bat uh, battery is. Now, we usually use the time constant as a way of measuring how fast the circuit charges. Within one time constant, how much does it charge? Just give me like uh, one or two more minutes here. Within one tau, what happens? The current drops, uh, let, let's first say it this way. Within one tau, the charge charges up to 100%. In other words, when the T is equal to RC, that means the time has reached one uh, time constant. So that means this is equal to one. you get 1 minus e to the power of negative 1. And what is that equal to? We did it in the lab. 0.632, right? So that means within one time constant, if when this is equal to RC, no, I, should, I did it a little bit wrong. 63% is what? Somewhere about here. So that means visually, this is one time constant right here, right? Within two time constants, what should it reach? So this is 63% here. Within two time constant, what percent should it reach? You do CVB one minus e to the minus two. which is what, probably 80% or something? Eighty-six point five percent. So that means if you have a certain circuit and the total time constant, whatever it is, Within two time constants, that circuit has pretty much charged up. Two, between two to three time constants, it's pretty much charged up to whatever it's going to charge. On the other hand, the current within one time constant does what? Drops to what percent? Uh, you do... e to the minus 1, it should be the, uh, the opposite of 63, 37, right? e to the power 0.36, yeah, about 37%. So within one time constant, the current drops to 36, 37%. Well, 37 and 63 is 100. So within one time constant, the charge is 63%, and the current is down to 37%. Within two time constants, what do you expect it to be? Then it's going to be about 14%, right? So within two time constant, the current has already just uh, dropped. Uh, within two to three time constants, there's no current. Okay, so that's why the time constant of a circuit is a good way of showing or telling how fast that circuit uh, charges or discharges. The discharging circuit is just the opposite of this. Okay? 
Good, with that, that ends chapter 28, and then